Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. What we're going to do today in the video is five easy fishing hacks. I uh, did a hacks video a couple months ago, had a really good response. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check that one out. Uh, we're going to go over some today that cover soft plastics and some gear. I think you'll find it really useful. Stick around, it's going to be good. Alright guys, hack number one, I'm going to show you one on soft plastics and this is going to be on a trailer or any type of hollow bait that you might want to use and give a little buoyancy to or have it come up, float up off the bottom, whether you're fishing over rocks or maybe a weed bed, something like that. I'm going to show you a little trick for that. Okay guys, what we have here is a net bait pack crawl and what I'm going to do with it is, I'm going to take my handy dandy knife here and I'm going to give it a little slit here in the belly Let's start over here. a little more of a slit here in the belly you can see that little slit we've given it right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an earplug any earplug will do I like the ones that are kind of tapered from front to back because it'll taper out with the, the bait better and first thing we're going to do is, or I'm going to do is, I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. About right there, kind of trim a, about a quarter off of it. I'm going to wind it up nice and tight. I'm going to open up this little hole. I'm going to have to open it up just a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to take this earplug. I'm going to work it down in the slit that we just made. And then it will expand out into the bait and give it some buoyancy. And you're saying, well, that's a big gap. It's going to pop out. If you check out my other hacks video, the 10 fishing hacks, one easy way to seal this is we're just going to squeeze that, put a little heat on it with a lighter. And then what that's going to do, it's going to give this bait a little bit of buoyancy to sit up off the bottom a little bit, whether you've got it. Carolina rigged or you're even using it as a jig trailer, drig, a light jig trailer on a finesse jig. I'm going to give it a little more buoyancy, but it's adding a little bit of this earplug in here and this foam is going to give it the buoyancy that it needs to be able to ride off the bottom. So all you need is any hollow body plastic bait will do. It doesn't have to be this particular bait and an earplug, knife or a pair of scissors, and you will be able to give buoyancy to any bait you want to give it to. And it really it's a great hack because uh, I've used it many times on all different kinds of baits when you just want to get it to ride up out of the weeds, off the rocks, whatever kind of structure you're fishing. Hack number two. What I want to show you here is a lure retriever. You know, this is your traditional lure retriever right here. This is a hound dog lure retriever. Um, you know, I don't know, they're five to maybe six, seven dollars and rides down the line, knocks against the crankbait, jig, whatever it is you have hung up and you can get your lures back. That's great, but I'm going to show you how to make a nice easy one and you can make several of them to be able to put in your, any of your tackle boxes, keeping the boat, what have you. So all you really need is you can get an old river anchor, or I'm sorry, not river anchor, but an old river sinker or one of these pyramid sinkers, any type will do, two to three ounces, um, I think is ideal. And all we're going to do is, going to take a zip tie, going to run it through the eye on there, and then I'm just going to get a small snap swivel. And I'm going to run it through there. And then I'm going to zip these together, trim this off. And now I can take this, snap it on my line, and you can run a small piece of braid on there, for example, maybe, you know, say 80 pound braid. So you can slide it back up and down, just like we have on this, except I would put braid on here on the dowel rod or a pencil, whatever it is you're going to use and it will slide right down the line. And I'll show you how it works. All right guys, so all you're gonna do is take this snap swivel, hook it onto your line, and then you're gonna have a little piece of braid, twine, whatever it is you wanna use to get it back up the first uh, one or two tries of work to be able to get a little momentum. But once I've got it hooked on there, I'm just gonna let that slide down, pop, right off it comes. Simple, easy, you get your rig back, uh, makes life a lot easier. All right guys, hack number three. What I'm gonna show you here is, you know, 
when you're fishing with soft plastics, one of the knocks on them, especially the softer ones, is that they tear up pretty easy after you catch a few fish uh, and you've been using them a while. This is a Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver trailer or just creature bait. Uh, you can use it either way. You can see the ends pretty chewed up here and it starts to get that way, like we were talking about, just after a little bit of use. But one great way to get a little more use out of the bait, in my other hack video, I show you, you can just use a lighter, you can melt it some, seal it back up, just like we were talking about sealing that up on the other hack that has the um, the earplug in it to give it buoyancy. You can melt the end of that, but another way you can do it is use your wacky rig tool. And like on this bait here, for example, I'm just going to go down, kind of fold it up in here just a little bit to the end, towards the end, I should say. I'm going to pop that off, and it's going to force that plastic together. And then I can run my hook back in there, and I can actually get more use out of my bait with just using that o-ring out of the wacky rig tool so you can use this on any creature bait any soft plastic i can do it with a stick bait like a cinco i mean you name it it'll just get you a little more use um, out of your bait without having to go through so many and at one day of fishing all right guys hat number four what i'm going to show you here is you know we all know these are rod socks is not only protects your rods but it keeps them from getting tangled up uh, saves you a lot of hassle but I want to show you, um, you know, when we're using rod socks a lot of times, uh, transport and such, they have a tendency after a while to want to ride up a little bit. Well, you know, some of the rod socks that you pay for, you know, they come with a little loop that goes down here and hooks over your hand or, or your tension knob, things like that. Uh, we make these rod socks ourselves. If you guys want, I can do a video on that and show you because they're super easy, super cheap to make yourself. But I'll show you a little trick for this to keep these down on here. So all we're going to do is... Take a large safety pin, rubber band. This is a bigger rubber band, but if you have smaller ones, you can link two or three together. I'm just gonna hook this in to the bottom of my rod sock, and then I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to run it over my tension knob, and now I don't have to worry about that rod sock riding up at all. Uh, makes it nice and easy, and they're not going to slide up because you know sometimes like I say they'll slide up pat farther on the rod past the first guide this is going to keep all your rod socks in place super easy quick and efficient all right guys hack number five I'm going to show you this one is pretty easy and you're going to like it because everybody gets these the backlash and professional overrun whatever you'd like to call it but one easy way to get it out you know when it I've already I've peeled some of this backlash off as far as I can go and you can see how there's this little knot at the top. You can actually start picking it back with your fingers and working it forward, picking it back and working it forward, but an easy way is to engage the clutch here, the thumb bar, okay? Then re-engage the clutch and I'm putting pressure down with my thumb as I spool out, okay? And see, as it does, it comes loose. Got to really put pressure on it with your thumb. You can see how much pressure I'm putting on it there. And now, that backlash just pulls out. And there's another one where you can see it stops. If I start putting pressure on it, it'll start coming out. And that's what we want to see. I can just keep going until I work that backlash all the way out. And you can see this is a pretty good one. And then wind everything back on there. So that's a pretty easy way to get a backlash out uh, without causing yourself a lot of grief as far as trying to kind of pick and roll it backwards, pick and roll it backwards, and the next time that line should come right off there nice and easy. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video today. I hope you got something out of at least one or two hacks maybe that you can use and you haven't seen before and add to your arsenal. I uh, really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell notification button. You can also check out Blue Line Fishing on Instagram and Facebook. And be sure to stay tuned to the channel for some more videos we'll have coming out here in the next couple weeks. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your support. We'll see you again next time. And remember, get out there and fish.